Hello and today we'll be checking the WooCommerce Marketplace multi-vendor point of sale system that basically provides the marketplace sellers to have the functionality wherein they can easily manage their online stores along with the physical stores as well and the physical stores will be having a, a POS front-end management system for which the sellers can assign a store agent who can easily manage the sales and the customers at that particular store. So basically the WooCommerce Marketplace multi-vendor uh, point of sale system can work both on the online and the offline with the feature to synchronize all the sales and the customers data of the offline store with the online store whenever going online and uh, apart from that the plugin also plays a wider role in increasing your day-to-day -day sales by having a management system to manage the online stores along with the physical stores as well and this particular POS front-end uh, is built on the react to allow an effective user interface thus the POS agents can get a user-friendly experience and thereby increases the performance of the point of sale by optimizing the speed itself so basically this plugin is an add-on to the woocommerce marketplace by webcool so you'll have to install that first and after that you can make use of this uh, plugin uh, that's the woocommerce marketplace vendor point of sale system so uh, the admin can also have his own uh, point of sales or the physical outlets uh, and can have his own uh, POS terminal and similarly the marketplace vendors for the WooCommerce platform based stores can also have their online store along with uh, their POS or the physical outlets as well for which they can manage the same on their hands. So uh, before we proceed further and show you the workflow of the same, please uh, do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do give it a thumbs up. So now, first of all, I'll be taking you to the uh, vendor panel uh, and I'll be uh, logging into the uh, WooCommerce platform based marketplace uh, vendor account. And thereafter, I'll be showing you how that particular vendor would now be able to create his physical outlets, managers, how he can assign the products and the rest of the uh, details as well. So uh, let's uh, get ahead and let's see how this can be done. So for that, uh, let's go to the login page. So right now you can see at the, I'm at the uh, login page with my store here and here I'll be uh, logging into my vendor uh, account by entering the username and password and tapping on the uh, login button. So I'll just tap here on the login button and uh, we'll be logged into the vendor account within the marketplace based on the WooCommerce platform here and you can see that we have the dashboard under that we have the marketplace uh, account options. And here if I scroll down then you can see that we have options uh, to create the POS outlets, uh, the uh, option to create the POS managers, products, check the POS orders and we can also uh, mass assign the POS with the uh, product quantities there. So we'll be going through each of them one by one. So let's go to the POS outlets for, first and here you can find the complete list of outlets that the uh, vendor has created under his own uh, account panel for his physical stores so you can see that we have created one america outlet with the address the status and we also have the option to delete or edit this particular outlet so if i tap here in the edit uh, button on the actions column you can see that we have the ed edit outlet for the pos user section where we have the general and the manage products tab two tabs are here under the general we have the complete details of the outlet like the outlet name its address city outlet state uh, the outlet uh, post code and the country where the outlet is going to be there uh, physically from the drop down we can choose that up we can choose it to be enabled or disabled and after you can tap here in the update outlet button apart from that uh, if I, we go to the manage products here you can see that uh, uh, the products that have been assigned uh, to this particular outlet and from here you can see that uh, we have the enabled products along with the assigned stock for each you can see the product names the master stock and the available stock for the point of sale there so the stock with the POS is different and the master stock is different so uh, that was how we can edit the POS uh, there now if I go to the uh, section that's the uh, POS outlets once again so to create a new you'll just tap here in the add new outlet button and then you'll fill up the general uh, uh, details of the outlet so for example let's enter the test uh, I'll choose the address 
I'll choose it as enabled and let's tap here in the save outlet button so you can see that the outlet has been created and right now we only have the general uh, uh, section there so now if I go back to the POS at outlets we can see that our new outlet has been created now we can edit it and now we can see the manage product tab as well so I'll just tap on that and from here we can assign the products to this particular uh, POS terminal as well or the physical store as well manage product section so uh, to uh, we have the complete list of the products uh, that this particular vendor is having and the status for the products uh, for this particular uh, uh, outlet you can see it's disabled so what we can do is we can uh, choose the products that we want to assign to this uh, particular one and from the bulk uh, actions we can choose enable and then tap here in the apply button and that basically uh, assigns the product to this uh, particular outlet that's uh, the general one that we just created the test one this outlet and now let's go to the POS managers so under the POS managers uh, the vendor can find the complete list of uh, POS uh, managers that he has already created he can edit or delete any one of them he can also search the managers by their name to add a new manager you just need to tap here in the add new user uh, button that you can see and thereafter you'll be able to manage the POS user so for that you'll have to enter the, the uh, username of the uh, POS you'll, from the drop down you'll be choosing the outlet so right now we had two outlets we had assigned uh, uh, one manager to the already created one and this one is the test one that we just created after that we'll have to enter the first name last name email of the uh, particular uh, uh, manager there we can also upload a picture for that Here's the password uh, that would be sent on the particular email that we'll be entering here. And you'll choose it as enable and let's tap here on the save user button. And this would basically uh, create the POS manager successfully. So if I go back to the POS managers here, you can see that Rebecca has been, is active and has been created here. Now, uh, for example, uh, that was about the POS managers. Now. Uh, now after the POS managers, uh, we have the POS product, so let's tap on that. And this basically brings up the complete list of products uh, that the vendor has under his own account panel that he has created within the marketplace itself under the products here. And uh, here, uh, from here, the uh, marketplace vendor would be able to do bulk actions like generate the barcode uh, by ID or the SKU for his products. And then that uh, particular barcode would be uh, set up for each of the products there. So uh, for example, if I go ahead and if I choose these two products under the uh, POS products and if I choose it by SKU, I can tap here in the apply button and the barcodes would be generated successfully for those uh, products as well. So I'll just tap OK. The page would refresh. Now if I scroll down, you can see Woo Ninja and the Woo logo. For those uh, we have created the uh, what we say as the barcodes uh, by SKU and it also says that it's by SKU similarly for the barcode the ID, using the uh, what we say as the barcode by ID then the by ID would be written under the barcodes there apart from that you can see the assigned stock uh, for each of the products there uh, so that was about the uh, POS products how we can generate the barcodes for them now under the POS orders here uh, the vendor would be able to see the complete details of the orders that have been uh, placed uh, on the uh, phys within the physical stores or using the point of sale system or the POS terminal so for example we have this uh, America outlet uh, the customer name was there the total quantity that got purchased the status total and the date added so if I tap here on the order ID we'll be able to see the details here so you can see that we have also have the option for the POS discount if any POS discount was uh, applied that would also be uh, then uh, visible here and here we have the product number and the customer details as well so that was about the POS orders now let's come to the POS mass assigned section now here uh, basically the uh, vendor would be able to enter the quantity that he can uh, assign to his uh, POS product in bulk so for example if you have uh, 100 stocks of product P1 in your WooCommerce store and you have two outlets for example O1 and O2 and you will be entering 20 products to assign stock in each outlet so after the assigning the master stock value would be 140 of the product p1 and the pure stock value of the product p1 will be 20 and for the uh, p1 uh, the uh, the 
uh, the pure stock of product pin p1 will be 20 and the woocommerce stock is 140 of the uh, product p1 so basically we'll have the master stock or stock that would uh, uh, have the uh, website uh, stock uh, for the product and uh, when we add a product uh, uh, from there the same product and we assign uh, the outlet uh, uh, outlet quantity of product for that then that particular stock uh, quantity adds to the actual master stock as well so if the master stock was 100 and the product p1 stock was set as 50 then the complete uh, uh, visibility of that particular stock uh, would be 150 50 for the uh, pos terminal and 100 for the website itself so from here you can enter the quantity uh, uh, that you want to bulk assign to your pos product and then tap in the bulk assign uh, button and you can see that uh, the batch process uh, for that would start and that would basically uh, update uh, your uh, what we say as the quantity for your POS products there. Now let me take you to the POS terminal and let's place an order then I'll show you how that particular order appears uh, within the uh, POS orders here uh, for the particular vendor. So uh, let's hop on to the uh, POS terminal now. So what I'll do is I'll just log out of my vendor account here and i'll just scroll down log out so i'll be logging into my uh, pos terminal so now i'll be entering the uh, username and the password for the uh, vendor's uh, uh, salesperson and then we'll be tapping in the login button so uh, after the login we'll be able to access the uh, pos uh, terminal home page and from here you can see the products that are there so now from here we'll be adding one product of the vendor into the cart uh, and uh, thereafter the sales agents will be placing the order so after the order has been placed i'll then take you to the vendors account panel to show you that particular order being displayed uh, under the uh, pos orders section under the account uh, panel of the vendor there so uh, let's add one product and uh, let's uh, make a check out uh, thereafter so here i'll be entering the amount tendered and confirm payment the order has been placed let's tap here in the skip button so now if I go to the order section, here we have the order number 207 and uh, we can see the details of the order as well under the order summary here on the right hand side. So now let me take you to the uh, vendor's account and let's see this particular order number 207 there as well. So I'll just log out of the uh, POS terminal for the vendor, vendor's uh, physical outlet. So uh, the cashier would just or the sales agent will log out now let me take you to the vendors account panel so here at the uh, login page so let me refresh the page once and uh, thereafter i'll be logging into the vendor account by entering the username and the password and tapping here on the login button and after logging into the vendor panel i'll just scroll down and here we'll be going to the pos orders so i had uh, we had placed the order for the uh, three dollars there uh, three pounds and 30 uh, cents there so if I tap here in the order number 207, here's the product that we place the order for. Uh, if there's any POS discount, that would also be displayed here. So uh, here's the customer details as well. So the same order that we just, uh, uh, or we, uh, the same order that was just placed on the vendor's physical outlet POS terminal, the same is visible to the uh, vendor under his account panel under the POS orders up there. So this was uh, the uh, workflow of the plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding how the marketplace vendors for the WooCommerce platform based marketplace uh, uh, can uh, basically create their own outlets, managers, how they can assign the products, how uh, they can check their POS orders and how they can mass assign the POS stock uh, to their products as well. So. Uh, uh, now let me take you to the admin backend panel. We'll be having the same options for the admin as well So I'll just show you them and for uh, a better understanding You can check the user guide and the live demo that I've attached within the description section of this particular video So uh, for that let me take you to the admin backend panel now. So I'll just uh, log out of the vendor account here and after login we'll be just uh, logging into the admins account So I'll just log into the admin backend panel now and uh, after login i'll be on the dashboard uh, for the backend and uh, here you can see the uh, on the side panel after the successful installation of this particular plugin we have the marketplace point of sale uh, option and under that we have the users outlets products orders and the configuration 
So let me show you the initial configuration for this particular plugin first. So from here, the admin can set up the general settings, customer settings, and the my assign option as well. Here, the admin just needs to enter the uh, uh, API username, password. Uh, then he'll have to set up the POS heading uh, for the login there and uh, the POS footer text first line and the rest of the details as well as you can see then the admin will be choosing the inventory type as the uh, master stock inventory or the centralized stock inventory as required there and uh, the admin can also enable the unit price feature uh, and the meals at the POS end type of the orders and the POS end whether you want to have that online or offline orders uh, the quantity for low stock warning there the uh, invoice logo so you can upload an invoice logo as well and then the web app settings for the same so here we'll be setting up the uh, the name shortcut name uh, the theme color the media icons as you can see and lastly you can tap here in the save general uh, button so under the users uh, the uh, vendor can create uh, the users as per as the vendor was doing the same so to add a new user just tap here in the add new user and then you'll have to choose the uh, pos username or the sales uh, agent's name from the drop down you'll choose uh, the uh, outlet for, uh, of the admin and the rest of the things are, are similar to the vendors there same goes for the outlets and uh, here under the outlets uh, the admin can add new outlets by tapping here in the add new button and then uh, he can create uh, the outlet uh, by entering the name of the outlet its address the outlet city state uh, outlet postcode the country of the outlet uh, enable or disable the uh, status and then tap here on the save outlet and the outlet would then be saved and after the saving the outlet would then be listed here under the outlet list and apart from that the admin can also tap here on the POS login button uh, to log into the uh, POS terminal to check uh, how the things uh, appear there so I'll just cancel that out so you can tap here on the POS login to access the POS terminal as well now uh, uh, coming to the products uh, here okay I just need to log in once again I was just logged out of that particular section there so if I go back to the outlet uh, and if I tap here on the POS login so we'll see the terminal once again so uh, coming to the product section from here the admin can find all of the uh, uh, what we say as the products there and from here the admin can uh, generate the barcode uh, by the ID or the SKU for the uh, for the for the for the products from here and uh, the admin can also select the uh, outlets as well to check the uh, particular products that have been assigned to that so right now you can see the outlet Washington and the uh, products that have been assigned to him uh, the price of each uh, product the total quantity uh, the status and the barcodes of the product as well and uh, under the orders the admin can find the complete list of orders that have been placed uh, from his physical stores using the POS terminal and those uh, orders will then be visible to the admin here and from here the admin can basically uh, check his own uh, outlet as well as of the seller's outlet so uh, if he chooses the sellers one and if I tap here in the select outlet we can see the orders for that particular outlet itself so these are the outlet of the seller as well the American outlet and uh, if I go to the outlets here you can see that we have the Washington outlet here so this is the admins one and the other one the Washington was uh, sorry the other one was uh, of the vendor there uh, that was the America outlet so these are the outlets uh, order for the vendors and this one for the admin itself and you can choose the outlet to display the particular outlet and uh, for example if I choose America outlet and I tap here in the select outlet you can see the uh, orders for that particular outlet are being displayed that have been placed within that particular physical stores PS terminal and uh, so uh, basically that was uh, much about the uh, WooCommerce uh, multi vendor marketplace uh, POS uh, system wherein now apart from the admin the uh, marketplace vendors can also add uh, their POS outlets and can create their physical stores apart from the online selling they can also sell out their products from the uh, POS terminals uh, by creating their physical outlets so if you still have any questions or queries regarding the uh, plugin then do get back to us at support at the rate of webquill.com you can raise a ticket at webquill.uvdesk.com you can also reach out to us at uh, www.webquill.com forward slash contacts and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead